All right, guys. Now after talk about a little bit about the the concept of the pressure pass, I'm gonna start showing you breaking down a little bit of the system. How I like to get there, uh, breaking that between uh, techniques and drills. Right? Let's start with one that I use a lot. So there is a lot of ways to get there. So a lot of options. I start from the from from when I'm passing standing, and a lot when I'm passing with my knees on the ground. So when I, when I have this position and my opponent is, play, is playing kind of like De La Riva like that, what I have to worry about first. So always when I'm, when I'm fighting, I always have to deal what's like making me uncomfortable, uncomfortable first. So he has one hand here, a lot of times he has this hand on my, on my leg, so does it really matter? And he's pulling, pulling me down, right? But this hand, I don't worry about it, why? Because he, he got my leg. Okay, so I can't get away from him. This one is breaking my posture, but he can't really do anything with his hand. So I don't really worry about breaking the grip because the grip is here, but it's not dangerous for me. So I don't worry about that. What's really like making me uncomfortable is his feet, right? So what, what I, I need to think, what he's looking for right now, he has the Delahiva hook and he has the foot on my leg, right? Why? Because even if you go to a bearing ball or anything, he got to push my leg, he got to put pressure, and you see what happened. So always, always when I'm fighting, when I'm training, I always need to be one step ahead of my opponent. That's how I like to think. Now in that situation, I'm not one step ahead. I'm behind. Why? Because now I'm not trying to pass his guard. I'm defending his attack. So that's a whole different thing, right? And look, what he wants when he do that situation, when he pushes my leg, he wants to create an angle to get my side. Because from here, he can go to my belt, he can make me out of balance, so I'm not facing him. So look, how am I gonna pass his guard if I'm not facing him? It's different. Any kind of pass, when I'm passing his guard, I always need to be facing my opponent, right? Doesn't matter what kind of pass you're doing, you always need to be like the legs of the clock. Your head, your legs away, right? So, when the opponent starts doing this, he's gonna push me away. So you see, now my fight is gonna be to reposition and then fight to pass again. Now I'm back in the game, right? So that's why I always need to deal what is like making me uncomfortable first. So first, the De La Riva, right? Because when he has the De La Riva, he's gonna put pressure on me, and that's how he's gonna make me out of bounds. Plus he has the leg, so then he's gonna take my hip down and it's not working. So first, I always need to do it with the De La Riva. So what I like to do here, always my knee out, don't let him get side of my leg, so make sure your knee is out. And I like to put my heel on the mat and straight my leg. So even if you keep like really tight here, look, when I push down, I, I take that hook out. So here, there is no pressure anymore. If the guy has a strong foot here, and a lot of times you can't take it off, I like to use my free hand just to push, and now does it really matter, but the guy can't put back, right? So now, he has the other foot here, so I need to deal with that. If I just push down, it's not gonna happen, why? Because he gonna lose, he gonna lose my own strength against me, right? So look, it's gonna be hard. So I just do like a back step, and now you see the leg doesn't matter how strong he is, he can't hold it. So it's gonna be really easy to push down and step over, right? When I get this situation here, right away I like to switch to the lapel, and the other hand I was controlling the shin, I control the knee, right? When I get this situation, I just uh, put my hip down a little bit, because if I stay too high, he can bring the foot back, and put back on the hip, you don't want to death, right? So that's why you just push down a little bit, right? He has the control of my leg. So what I like to do in that situation, I push the leg, right? And pass over my, my elbow. So when I get this situation here, he can't bring the leg back. And now the other hand, I bring his hip up, right? And then I step aside. Why I bring the hip up? Because if I don't control the hip, he's gonna put his foot on the mat and escape the hip, and now he replaced the same situation. So that's why I pass the elbow, 
bring the hip to me. Even if he step on the mat, try to do the same thing, he can't. So now aim your knee on the mat and just open the other leg like a circle until you get this position, right? Doesn't really matter if the guy has the grip because it's gonna be uncomfortable, so he's gonna let go. If he, do if he doesn't, you just sprawl and break the grip, right? So look, after I get this situation here, what I gonna do? Remember, like I said, you always need to find the right spot. So it's gonna be between his hip and his knee. And you have to feel the hip bone right here on the side of your, of your hip, right here in this spot, on the right spot. That's gonna be in the middle of the leg, right? So look, imagine that you have the push-up position and you don't turn your hip just like a little bit, right? One hand, you're gonna bring the lapel. The other hand, you're gonna control four fingers behind his neck, right? So look, the secret here is what? Try to put all your weight in one spot. If you put weight on your knee, it's gonna be bad. Why? Because then you split in between your knee and your hip. That's not good. So always imagine that you don't have, oh look, my left leg's free. I don't, I don't put weight on my knee. So I make sure that my hip is heavy, right? Now look, bring to me the other one behind. And can you see his position here? Naturally, he's gonna turn because that's gonna be comfortable for him. For him, but not for me. So that's why when I have this situation here, I always try to fit my, my shoulder right on his, on, on his armpit and then push back, right? So I'm doing like a, like stretching him, pushing the leg down and pushing the shoulder down. So then it's gonna be really uncomfortable for more point, right? And always, always when I'm doing anything, I always try to make my opponent more uncomfortable possible. Because if he's worried about something, like that's gonna make him uncomfortable, he's not gonna be worried, uh, thinking about getting a submission or get a sweep against me, right? So that's why, bring to me the other one, make sure that I flat his back on the mat. And now, look, always try to, Push his calf and step. Look, one, two, one, two, one, two. You see, I'm making him like a, like a letter C, so it's gonna be really uncomfortable. Now, I use my other leg. Instead of just hiding the hook, I like to hide my knee. Why? Because if you hide the hook, a lot of times the guy can use the, his hook as well. So then can give you a, not a hard time, but can like stop you for a little bit. So when I like the situation, I never use hooks. I always use knees. Because when I have the knee, if your opponent try to use the hook, he can't, there is no space. Now look, keep your elbow really close to your body. And now don't jump to the side control. The secret is like, keep your hip heavy, right? Look, imagine, I, I feel like I have pulling his hip with my hand, but actually I using just my hips, look. See how I have the whole control? And now my elbow pass over his hip, and then I get the side control. When I pass here, look, I have like the wrong side of the underhook, but anything that he do here is gonna be try to underhook or something, he gonna give me space, and I'm gonna get his underhook, and finish on the side control with a good possibility to get like a knee on the belly, a more position, and my favorite position to finish with the arm bar. So, I'm gonna show one more time. Move on the side plane. Kill the leg, the De La Riva, pass over, switch grips, lapel and knee. Get on the position, break the grip. After you get here, I get a good position, set up first. Then one, two, pushing the calf, hide my knee. Don't jump to the side control, no rush. He's in the bad spot, not you. So keep head, elbow in, elbow in, pass. See when I pass, I keep opening my elbow already because if he try to face me, 
he always needs to tuck his elbow in to do the hip escape. That's why when I pass, I open. If he try face me, he can't. And it will be really easy for me to underhook and keep moving forward, right? 